Water counts for about 2% uh, in terms of overall greenhouse gases. So it's not large, but it is still a meaningful amount. And there's a lot that can be done in terms of direct emissions, indirect emissions, and the supply chain as well. How do we start to cope with some of these increased demands uh, in terms of both increasing populations that um, our water utilities need to provide for, while at the same time handling the challenges of doing it in a lower carbon future. I think with many technologies, the, the roadmap to acceptance is that demonstration scale that builds confidence.